We will start today's seminar with Namaskaram, which is a traditional prayer done to the earth, to God, and to our Guru. First, what we're going to do is a little interactive piece. So we're going to teach you the three fundamental hand gestures of Bharatanatyam. So first, I want everyone to take their hand and spread it out and make sure all your fingers are touching and bend your thumb. This mudra is called pataka. Pataka can be used to represent a flag, a sword, here, there, me, or you. Next, we'll move on to Alapatma. And Alapatma is done by spreading your fingers as far as possible and raising your pinky as high as it'll go. So with this, you can use it to represent a flower, the sun, or something beautiful. Our final mudra is called Katakamuka. And that's done by connecting your thumb to your index and middle finger. This can be used to represent putting on jewelry like earrings or picking something. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask everyone to combine all three of these in the act of picking a flower. So I want everyone to take their left hands and use pataka and put it in front of them. Then use your right hand to make a kataka muka. Pick a flower and put it on your hand. Just keep repeating this action so we can practice it. All right. Bharatanatyam is traditionally comprised of three major elements known as nritta, nritya, and natya. Nritta is the pure dance element. Nritya is the expressional element, and Natya is a combination of both of them. We will now see Nritta, which is the pure dance element, in the form of basic steps. Basic steps in Bharatanatyam is done in the position of Adamandi, which is done by keeping your feet together in a Samapada position, which means your feet at the same level. You then spread them out in a V and sit into the position. Everyone can try this in their seats if you would like to. Uh, if you would like to come up to the front on this little space over here, you may do that as well. <laughs> Um, so the majority of Bharatanatyam is done in this position. And we will now do a small demonstration of a few basic steps. We will break in with the most primary one, tat adavit, or the stamping adavit. Taiya, tai. Taiya, tai. Taiya, tai. Taiya, tai. Now moving on to second speed. Taiya, tai. Taiya, tai. Tayate, tayate. So that was the first basic step. The second basic step, not that of it, adds two more components to it. First, we will look at the extension of the leg from the Adamandi position. So we sit in Adamandi, pick up the foot, and extend it so that your toes are pointing up, and bring it back. So the basis of the Adava is done in this lift and place movement. In addition to this, we also use our arms and our hands with the mudras that we just learned, Katakamuka and Alapadma. So I would like everyone here to try and practice this motion of opening and closing your hands from Katakamuka to Alapadma. Good, so we're now going to combine these two together into not out of it. Tayum tata, tayum tam, tayum tata, tayum tam. What we just saw was a chatushra jati, which is a four beat sequence. This same movement can be done within a trikala jati or a three beat sequence as done here. So, takita, 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 takita. 
Next we'll move into nritya, which is the expressional aspect of Bharatanatyam. So first what we're going to do is we're going to show you all the different types of nritya you can do. Feel free to try it along in your seats. So first, you can do things such as showing the beauty of the clouds. Or picking a flower, as we did earlier. You can even show the expression of love or compassion and many other things as that. So within Bharatanati, we express a lot of stories, which we do in our nitya components of dance. We will now perform for you a short piece that while containing a very heavy nritya element, still includes nritya portions of it. So we hope you enjoy. <laughs> Sani da ma da ma ga sa di ga sa ni da sa di ga Tat tat jum Tat 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 tim Tat 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 tim Da ma ga di ga sa da sa di ga ma da sa ma da di ga ma da di Tat tim in da tim tat tim in da tim tat tim tat tim tat tim tam tat tim Sa di ga ma ga ga sa ma da sa We thank you for coming to this seminar today. And we will now end with the same introductory prayer of Namaskaram.
Hello, everyone. Happy Chicago Dance Month. Woohoo! Thank you all so very much for being here. My name is Heather Hartley. I am the executive director for about the next 40 minutes of Audience Architects, but by the end of the evening, I will be the executive director of C Chicago Dance. Um, so more on that in a moment from our board president. But the real message I want to share with you this evening to get things started is the incredible beauty and vibrancy we have in the Chicago Dance community. And it is my honor and pleasure to help bring some of that to you this month, the month of April. So let's first give a round of applause to our first two companies that we've got to enjoy this evening. First, we had Natia Dance Theater doing a wonderful demonstration. Um, and I'm also going to share little tidbits about the company and ways you can catch more of their performances over the coming few weeks. Uh, Natia is going to be part of the Stomping Grounds Festival. And you can see more of them here at the Chicago Cultural Center in the Claudia Cassidy Theater on April 2nd at 6 p.m. Now, there are many things happening during the month of April, and all of them can be found in your Dance Month brochure, which you should have been able to pick up at the front desk. But if not, we have um, literally thousands of copies available, so please take two or three. Um, the other events that you're going to hear about are all listed in the Dance Month brochure, and you can also find them on our website, cchicagodance.com. The second company that you saw perform was Visceral Dance Chicago. They performed Changes by choreographer Monica Cervantes. Let's please give them a wonderful round of applause. <laughs> Visceral has two fantastic performances coming up later this spring. Their Spring Five, five performance at the Harris Theater is April 7th at 7.30 p.m. And then The Dream at the Skokie Theater for Performing Arts on April 29th at 3 p.m. Both of these events have discount tickets available as hot deals on cchicagodance.com, so please check it out. One of the main things that we want to do with Chicago Dance Month is encourage you with teasers and beautiful excerpts like you're seeing today to then go out and see more dance. So we hope you'll visit our website, cchicagodance.com, to find out about more than 70 events that are taking place throughout the month of April. Many of them are free, many of them are at a discount, sometimes it's Meet the Artist events, and we hope that this will encourage you to go out and support Chicago's amazing dance community. The next thing I'd like to do is acknowledge our sponsors and our, our partners for Chicago Dance Month. So their logos are here on the screen, and let me just acknowledge them, and then let's please give them a wonderful round of applause. Warmest thanks to the Elizabeth F. Cheney Foundation, the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events here, D Case, in this beautiful room, uh, Hammock, the Haitian American Museum of Chicago. Ginger Farley and Bob Shapiro. And then our partners for Dance Month that are offering their venues and various host sites are Block 37, the Chicago Cultural Alliance, and City Winery. So. Okay, so we're now ready to proceed with some more dance, and then I'll be back to tell you more about upcoming performances. The next performance is going to be by Winifred Hahn and Dancers with an excerpt from Trashed.
of all our tears, our eyes can't hope to see. Maybe one day at least I'll see me and just concentrate on Let's uh, give another round of applause, please, for Winifred Hahn and Dancers and Deeply Rooted Dance Theater. Um, so just a bit of more information about both of these companies. Uh, Winifred Hahn, the piece that she performed an excerpt from was Trashed, choreographed by Winifred Hahn and Emma Sargent. You can see Winifred Hahn and Dancers on May 3rd and 4th at the Hamlin Park Studio Theater, presenting a full-length version of Trashed, as well as Body Stories by Therese Felon Dance of New York City. Tickets are available through the calendar listings with a hot deal discount code on cchicagodance.com, so please check it out. And you can also join Winifred for a free open masterclass during our Dance Month Open Studio Friday series here in the dance studio down on the first floor of the Cultural Center. It's Friday, April 6th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. You can check out the whole schedule of all of the Open Studio Fridays in the Dance, uh, dance Month brochure. Each one is taking place on a Friday afternoon and it's an opportunity to meet the artist, learn a little bit of choreography, all kinds of really wonderful interactive opportunities. So please check that out as well. Uh, deeply Rooted, they were performing a piece called Until Lambs Become Lions, choreographed by Nicole Clark Springer. And you can see Deeply Rooted Dance Theater during their summer intensive, July 20th and 21st. 
Um, we're now going to proceed with Circle Rivera Dance Theater, but before doing so, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping and remind everyone that if you are taking photographs, please do turn off your flash. It's, it's dangerous for the performers. Thank you. Circle Rivera Dance Theater. Thank you. 
All right, let's have another round of applause for Circle Rivera Dance Theater. <laughs> Woo! Uh, just a little bit of information about the work you just saw and the company uh, coming up. First of all, congratulations to Cirque Rivera. You just saw the unveiling of their 2018 dance ensemble. So this was their first performance as the new 2018 company. Um, the work you saw was an excerpt of American Cotracho. It's Wilfredo Rivera's expansive multi-year collaboration of an immigrant's journey inspired by his own experiences. This 2017 section considers immigrants and their recovery from a harrowing journey and stepping foot into a new homeland. You can see Cirque Rivera Dance Theater on April 19th at the Old Town School of Folk Music. You can find tickets online at cchicagodance.com. Okay, now we're gonna do something fun for just a second. Uh, many of you may have entered your names into an Enter to Win for some fabulous Dance Month prizes. So, um, Jackie Kling, Marketing Programs Manager Extraordinaire. Uh, we're gonna pull a couple of prizes here. The first one is a pair of tickets to the B.B. Miller Company on April 5, 6, or 7 at the Dance Center of Columbia College, Chicago. A ticket value of $60. Woohoo! Jen Jackson. All right, come on up. I'm gonna give her that too, so I don't her. Congratulations. And the second drawing is for a pair of premium performance tickets to Dance for Life on August 18th, 2018 at the, Auditor yes, at the Auditorium Theater of Roosevelt University, a value of $150. Frankie Barron. Frankie? Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Okay, uh, we're ready for our next performance. It's by a company called Project Bound, and they will be presenting an excerpt of Chunky.
This is an old tune written by Edgar Sampson, and uh, the arrangement is by Edgar Sampson, and it's called Stomping at the Savoy. This program speaks to the breadth, scope, scale, diversity of what the Chicago dance community has to offer. And as I sat over there watching our colleagues perform, it reminded me that there's something really cool about dancers in general, but even more so about Midwestern dancers, in that we know we have a lot of space and we have a lot of space to fill, so there's an expansiveness to what we do. There are a lot of people eating up the very corners of this stage in this program, pretty cool. My name is Michael McStraw. I am the executive director of Giordano Dance Chicago, and I'm also, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm also president of the board of the organization that in just one moment will no longer be known as audience architects. We thank you for being here. A few wor uh, words about the pieces you just saw. From Project Bound, we had Chunky, as Heather had said, that was choreographed by Ashley Darren and Erica Von Byrne. 
Project Bound, under the direction of Ashley and Emily Lohr, is a trifocal dance collaboration aiming to foster community engagement, dex dance technology experimentation, and socially conscious performance. They will be hosting a workshop and audition this Thursday, March 29th at Dovetail Studios from 6 to 8 p.m. And you can reserve a spot by emailing projectbounddance at gmail.com. They will also be hosting free open class in the dance studio here at the Cultural Center on April 27th from 4.30 to 6. We hope you will join them. And that encore piece, that coda from Circle Rivera has no name. It's just a swing piece. I'll call it Dave. It was Dave the swing piece. <laughs> so could we please have another round of applause for all the performers on the program today. Thank you. Pretty cool stuff, I tell ya. So we have finally arrived at this momentous day when Audience Architects officially changes, changes its name to See Chicago Dance. This transformation came about as a result of our recent strategic plan, and it will bring more clarity more power and more immediacy to the marketing services and advocacy that we provide to our members, our supporters, and the larger Chicago dance community. So to, we're in theater, right? So to give this a little flair, a little polish, a little sense of theater, I have invite Ed Jakey to step up, step up here. Ed is the office and branch manager of Byline Bank, and he is going to help us with a ceremonial signing of our legal documents, which will officially lock us in forever and ever, amen, as See Chicago Dance. May I have a drum roll, please? Oh, cool, you guys did it. <laughs> okay, now hit it off with a symbol. All right, here we go. We are signing... How many of these do I have? Just one. Just one, we're done. We are See Chicago Dance. Officially. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. This organization prides itself on fostering all the wonderful things that we have going on in the Chicago dance community. I would now like to uh, uh, bring up to the stage Commissioner Mark Kelly. Are you here, Mark? There you are. I wondered if you were here. I was just going to talk about you if you weren't. <laughs> Mark is the Commissioner of the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events an organization that in turn supports all the artists in the city of Chicago. Mark. So Michael, what a pleasure to be here um, celebrating this very special moment for Chicago dance. Uh, Saturday night, I saw Giordano at the Harris Theater. They were stunning. It, it was an amazing performance. But no surprise, because 200 dance companies and the power of all of the dance companies of Chicago. And so it's only fitting that we're here to celebrate. This is sort of like Prince was once Prince, and then he became the artist formerly known as Prince. So here we are, uh, this great neat new name, See Chicago Dance. So on behalf of Mayor Rahm Emanuel, I want to congratulate See Chicago Dance. I want to congratulate the, our expansive dance companies as they launch into the Chicago Dance Month in April. And D Case, we're going to be doing, we're going to be deep partners with C Chicago Dance, supporting the Chicago dance community going forward. And I just want to give you some of the examples. Um, first of all, um, June 7th, we'll have Stomping Grounds. We'll be hosting in Millennium Park at the Pritzker Pavilion. So for the first time, Stomping Grounds and all those great dance companies are going to be launched onto that big stage. I hope you'll join us. Um, we're going to start in the uh, dance studio on the first floor. We'll have open rehearsals uh, every Friday at 4.30. And um, we hope to activate, we hope to have a strategic plan in place over the next year where the dance studio becomes a home for all of Chicago's uh, dance community. Uh, we'll have summer dance in the, the, the Spirit of the Music uh, stage in Grand Park. Um, and, and we want to make a better connection between what we call the citizen dancer. So don't be just edified by dance. Be a dancer, love the dance form, and then support the professional dance communities. We're going to be doing dance competitions, dance downs, in, in three 
uh, neighborhoods in Chicago of, of looking at both uh, footwork and juke. We're gonna have a giant dance festival, summer dance festival in Millennium Park. I believe it's August 24th, is 25th, um, and it's gonna be all of us. It's the entire dance community, it's a citizen dancer. We'll be uh, hosting a dance village with C Chicago Dance. We'll be uh, commissioning for three major works on the Pritzker stage. We'll have summer dance competitions. We'll be inviting the world to join us in the love of this form. And so in closing, I just want to remind us that we're, we're in this, what I liken as a sacred space. This, this is the Tiffany Dome in one of the most sublime spaces in the city. It's the cultural center, it's the people's palace. And one of the great form, cultural forms in this city is our, our, is our dance community. And so it's only fitting that we host this celebration in this room, launching See Chicago Dance, but really in the end, launching all of our commitment to this, this powerful and necessary form and its future. So thank you and um, I'm looking forward to a great month. Thank you, Mark. I can't tell you how um, appreciative we are of what the city of Chicago does to support its artists, and especially the dance community. For the past three years, Sea Chicago Dance has recognized members of our community whose work and contributions strengthen and positively impact the Chicago dance community. The first of these awards, the Distinguished Service to the Chicago F Dance Field, honors those whose philanthropic efforts have benefited dance companies and individual artists alike. Past awardees are Sarah Solitaroff Merkin, Richard Driehaus, and Pamela Crutchfield. The second of these awards, the Legacy Award, honors those artists whose body of work has left a significant impact on Chicago dance. Last year, the first recipient of this award was Dame Libby Comico, founder and artistic director of Ensemble Espanol. So continuing this great cr tradition, it gives me great pleasure to announce this year's awardees who will receive their official recognition at the Sea Chicago Dance Annual Gala on Tuesday, September 25 at City Winery. The 2018 recipient of the Distinguished Service to the Chicago Dance Field is Angelique Power. Angelique, where are you? I can't see. Angelique. Oh, there you are. <laughs> of course, I'm looking the wrong way. If you don't know this woman, you should. She is currently president of the Field Foundation of Illinois. She's worked tirelessly in a number of capacities on behalf of diversity, inclusion, and equity within the broader Chicago arts community. Thank you, Angelique, for all that you do. So happy. And the 2018 recipient of the Legacy Award, this is a, a very meaningful award for many of us in the Chicago dance community because of what this person has done to nurture us as a community and nurture us as individuals. And that person is Shirley Mordeen. Shirley? There are very few of us in Chicago who have not been positively affected by Shirley and 50 years of visionary influence as choreographer, educator, founder of the Dance Center of Columbia College, founder and artistic director of Mordine and Company Dance Theater. Shirley, you've been busy. Thank you, dear. So on behalf of the Board of Directors of Sea Chicago Dance, we thank Angelique and Shirley for the richness of their efforts, and we'll be raising a glass to each of you on September 25. So I want to thank you again for joining us for the kickoff of Chicago Dance Month between now and the end of April. As Heather has indicated, we encourage you to enjoy the wealth of all that the Chicago dance community has to offer. Nothing makes a dance artist more happy than healthy ticket sales and an overflow audience. So please get out and attend as much as you can. For instance, Chicago Dance Month features pop-up performances at Gallery 37 Pedway on April 10, 
Open Studio Fridays, as had been mentioned, through May 11th, right here at the Cultural Center. And our celebration and scavenger hunt on April 30th, closing out the Dance Month festivities, starts on the steps right outside this building and makes its way down Michigan Avenue to the Riverwalk. For more information on these events and all the wonderful dance taking place in Chicago, visit cchicagodance.com. Isn't that easier than audience architects? Thank you. <laughs> and of course, we hope to see you at our gala on September 25th at the City Winery when we officially recognize both Angelique and Shirley. Save that date. So that brings us to the end of our festivities today for the performance part. For those who have registered, please make your way to the East Room for our Dance Builder Reception. We're at capacity. Um, so those who have registered and have an armband may, may join us. If you've registered but don't yet have an armband, wristband, do, <laughs> do speak with any of our volunteers who are bedecked in purple. For those of you who are not staying for the reception, though, we've got a special thing for you, too. If you've enjoyed this evening's performance, we hope that you will sign up to C for C Chicago Dance's email list as you leave. And for the first 200 people who do join our mailing list, volunteers at the registration area will give you a lovely C Chicago Dance tote bag swag. What a way to end the day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for kicking off Chicago Dance Month. Thank you to all the artists. We appreciate your support. Thank you.